Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app review for Allied Force 1945 HD by Touch Infinite. This application is in the games category, works on the iPad, currently sells for $3.99. There's also an iPhone version that sells for $1.99. Blow up just about everything in this gritty World War II inspired battle game featuring six missions, six different fighters, three difficulty settings, and 80 plus enemies and weapons. Let's check it out. This game's not easy, and the price I think could be a little lower to be quite honest with you because the limited amount of, of missions. However, the missions are no walk in the park. Let's go ahead and check out the game. I'm already continuing, I'm on easy level. I've completed mission one. We'll go ahead and tap on mission two. I'm using the touch control, I believe is what I'm, or the, the relative touch control. And you really only need one finger. I've got some pretty good weapon going on here. Multiple shot and it's very helpful and beneficial in taking these guys out. I've got a bomber over here and you're trying to get the planes, of course, as well as the buildings. Again, I'm in mission two, so I'm in a different bit of a, uh, of a, of a background environment. It's a sand or a desert environment. A lot of the vehicles are fairly the same, but not exactly. And you're trying to accumulate the stars, and then you want to go up there and get the newest weapons so you can continue to pummel your enemy. Your health bar is in the top middle, and you get the idea. Again, I like these sort of shooter games. They're arcade shooters that I played growing up as a kid, obviously. And in this game, there are a multitude of different options you can have for control. There's a joystick, you can use the accelerometer, you can use touch where you can control the sensitivity. I actually went with the relative and changed the sensitivity and it turned out to be good. The way it's set up when you first get it, if you don't change it, it's really difficult to play, is what I've found. But uh, that's what I have selected. Again, I think it's a little high priced. It could be probably $1.99.99 for the iPhone version would be better. If it was, I'm guessing this game would be in the top sales for downloads. Because it's not making it in the top 200 on the iPhone or iPad paid app stores. You have a bomb here. I don't know. I think I got one. Let's see. Yeah, it blows up everything. And I found that you pretty much have to not be shooting when you actually use the bomb. And you can see it regenerates after time. You also will face boss battles uh, after you complete a mission. You can see there are tanks as well as anti-aircraft and lots of planes to evade. And it gets harder as you go. But again, I'm on the easy setting because I kept getting killed on the medium setting. And there is a hard setting as well. So there are really 18 missions if you look at it from that point of view. That's pretty much it for this iPad app review. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.